Let's come in here with a word from the Women's Rights Park in Seneca Falls. Falls. Talk to a man and a brother in one ear and out the other. Go into Seneca Falls. The Women's Rights National Park in Seneca Falls. It's a good place to go when the man in your life has become impossible. Never stop to wipe their feet. Never put down the toilet seat. It's your birthday, does he notice? Does the Pope live in South Dakota? Tell me why. Oh, why? Tell me why. Why do men act that way? Here in 1848, Elizabeth Stanton and Lucretia Mott proposed the radical notion that women should have equal rights. They were widely ridiculed for an idea that gradually the country has been moving toward for 150 some years and not quite achieved. It's a slow movement. If you need a break, visit the park. It's in Seneca Falls. Are they deaf? Are they blind? Leave a trail of junk behind. Drive around in circles all day. Ask for directions. No way. He never rides. Never calls. Think I'll go to Seneca Falls. Only one of the women who attended the 1848 Women's Rights Convention was still alive in 1920 when the 19th Amendment passed, giving women the right to vote. The Women's Rights National Park was established in 1980. It's worth a visit. I used to know a man couldn't melt butter in a pan, couldn't clean, couldn't launder, needed a wife, and no wonder suffragettes. They had balls going back to Seneca Falls. Women's Rights National Park, Seneca Falls, not too far from here. We're in Canada's world.